Hi, it's Kelly here. And in this video, boy, I've got to tell you what happened when I went to church today. It was just so extraordinary. I, oh, I'm going to need my glasses. Um, there was a, a member of the church who gave the talk. And wow, it was so good that I asked her, I said, where are you going to be speaking tomorrow? She shared something that was so powerful, every word, that not only did it make an impression on us while we we're sitting there, but it made an impression on me yesterday uh, before she gave the talk. Why? Because she was putting that energy out there. At least that's, this is this is what I believe it happened as a synchronicity. Some people call them coincidences, uh, what you know, but a synchronicity that that I picked up on what she was talking about. Because what did I talk about in yesterday's video? I said washing dishes and having praise about washing dishes, praising God for, for me being able to have food to eat, right? Rather than focusing on, I don't want to wash the dishes. That's exactly the example <clears throat> that she gave, except that she said that it was about, you know, she didn't mention the food, but she, she mentioned that other stuff, you know, that she had to wash dishes three times a day because she has four young, young children. And she says she's, She's, uh, you know, cooking and washing dishes, cooking, washing dishes, cooking, washing dishes three times a day. So, you know, it gets kind of old fast. <laughs> so she brought up that example and about how praise is important. The, ch <clears throat> the church that I was attending is called Courts of Praise, which is a line from the Bible uh, somewhere. I don't know where. I, I, although I write books, I have a reading disability, so I, don't, I, I can't remember where things come from. I, I don't remember the words to songs. I don't even remember where the keys are on the keyboard. I have to look down. And I wrote this 350 page book that way. And I wrote this book that way. And uh, in fact, I'm going to make my next video, which I had planned before I went to church, is going to be, a, I'm going to call it uh, Screw Writer's Block. Screw Writer's Block. And I'll explain that to you too. So anyway, you know, this book's been around for 25 years longer than that, 27 years, something, and it's still being ordered today. Anyway, that, I'm getting sidetracked. So I want to read to you what she had to say, and, it's, and what it was written as a letter from a former uh, Roman soldier, a Roman officer, I believe, uh, to, to uh, his, you know, to the people in, in the Philippa, the Philipp Philippians. <clears throat> and uh, you've heard it before, I'm sure, but I want to focus on a different part of it. And I'm going to read you the whole thing, but then we're going to focus on the, the last lines of it, and, which is, is anything worthy of praise? Is there anything worthy of praise? And he says, and so this, this soldier named Paul said, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if there is any excellence if there is anything worthy of praise and that includes the dishes think about these things so there it was if if there's anything worthy of praise let's see I think that's Phil Philippians 4 8 um, so isn't that fantastic right there and he didn't mention the dishes but it probably probably covers that because it says anything you know whatever is honorable whatever is just if there's anything worthy of praise and and certainly anything that God has made or made possible is worthy of praise so there you go and as I mentioned yesterday if we forget to do this and we think about it oh we could have done it then that counts it, it goes back and it, it and it counts because it's worthy of praise and you're praising it by remembering that you wanted to do that so you can't lose in this thing. It's, it's called the blessings already are. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Sanskrit. It's Barush Bishan. And it means the blessings already are. And this is an example of it. And how things are just unfolding uh, for all of us. And I, I mentioned before, in case you didn't see the other video, since I started doing this in the last three or four days, I've had money come to me from, from somebody I don't even know. And also, they're sending me uh, a, a near-infrared lamp of some sort. 
could be could be a six hundred dollar lamp. I'm not sure. Coming to me from from somebody who maybe maybe they bought something from me and I'm just not recalling the name off. And I and I have that issue. I forget stuff. Like I said, I can't. I don't remember songs. I don't remember you know anything very well. So um, I, I I you know <laughs> I just have to do what's in front of me and uh, let let the chips fall where they may. Um, so it's kind of interesting that you know that I can you know reading is a difficult thing but I can write because that's what's in front of me because I'm writing what's in front of me it doesn't require remembering it just requires seeing and I'll I'll describe that in the next video so um, it was I mean that the whole talk was was so fantastic at the end she said she wanted to stay within the time parameters that they have for the church you know but I think there was a bunch of us sitting there thinking no go in fact somebody called out and I was about to call out go on go on go on go on but you know it's one of those things where when you're in the flow it never stops it, it particularly my mouth doesn't stop <laughs> and uh, yeah so so uh, Get into the flow. Is there anything? Let me let me click back here where I can read it again because it's just so important. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, is the, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So I mentioned to you as well. I did the same thing when taking my laundry out, uh, you know, yesterday, and for me, you know. Being a have a back injury, you know, any kind of standing physical stuff is a, is a chore for me. So it was, uh, but not yesterday, not yesterday, because my focus was was on praising God that I have clothes to wear, and that I have a washing machine to wash my clothes clean. So there's just so many things to be grateful for. But the most important thing isn't the things that out there; it's to be grateful for God. God is inside of us, and so we've got to be grateful that's the thing that's keeping us running and if you listen to one of my other videos where I describe why we don't sway side to side from the tide of the sun and the moon although the, the, the heavy heavy ocean is lifted up it's because God is inside of us and he knows that for us we, swaying would be the best way for us to work it's important for the ocean to do what it does but we have a different role and so we don't sway from side to side. You can watch that's in another video. I don't remember about a week or two ago. Um, got so many good. <laughs> go ahead and watch my other videos, and and and, and let me know what how, you know what the part that's the best that you like the most. Tell me what you like the most about it, and uh, you know. And if you feel like it's share worthy, uh, please, please, you know, I'd be honored if you would do that. Uh, we got this. We have got this. The world is in the best hands ever because it's in your hands and oh my gosh oh by the way uh, I should mention this other book here this one um, that book will enable you to see anything that's worthy of praise anything that's worthy of gratitude anything those are the those are the things that you that you'll be able to do instantly with this and take you from the land of cause and effect to the land of grace and I talk about in the book how how the physical realm of everything on earth is between the power of the gravity and the power of the electron and the electron is actually a thousand trillion 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 times stronger than the power of gravity even though gravity you know it's a heavy force right well they call it a, they, they say it's a whatever it is it's it's not a heavy force according to the scientists quote unquote uh, but we're all we're in there between 10 to the 39th power it's 13 sets of zeros that's how big it is and when you get this book it takes you 10 times beyond 10 to the 39th and 10 to the 39th is a huge 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 number so big that we cannot comprehend it and 10 to the 40th is the beginning of the land of miracles and grace and that's why things like people sending me money you know uh, someone that I think was a stranger maybe sending me money and sending me what I need to heal my leg uh, all of those things 
you know, coming together like that. Because when you're in the land of miracles, there's no time. It happens instantly. The blessings already are. And I, I get so excited about this. You know, I, I tell myself when I start these videos just to, you know, speak softly, speak slowly, you know, and put things in, in, in the form of questions. Because, and, and let me just say this. Any statement that I've made, you take it and put it in the form of a question and see if that question works, or whatever the answer is, works for you. Because obviously, as a human being, I can be wrong about some things. So, but you can learn inside of you, your experience what will direct you the best. You'll be wrong about stu some stuff too, but you'll of course correct. You know, when a plane flies, you know, commercial airliner flies from New York City to LA, it's off track something like somewhere in the neighborhood of 95% of the time. And yet it lands on a little tiny air, you know, strip that's over the top of a mountain. They get the plane in there and, and they, they don't go off into the ocean or, or, or into, the, into the trees or the buildings or whatever. So, um, you know, we can course correct. But the, the point is, anything I say, put it in the form of a question. Because when you put it in the form of a question, it becomes alive for you. Put it in and ask yourself, how, you know, ask yourself, how can I do this? Why do I want to do this? It, you know, is this true? Check it out. You know, do your own research, do your own experience, and find out if it's if it works for you. Then go ahead and use it for as long as it works for you. If it stops working for you, go on to something else. I've had to use so far. I've had to use. Uh, at least 12 different oils and lotions and kinds of things on my leg. And so far, uh, I've been at a stalemate at best. So I, so it's, it's a matter of finding course correct, course correct, course correct. I have more stuff coming in. If you want to help, if you want to donate to me, I'll leave, a, leave something there on YouTube where you can donate uh, through PayPal uh, to assist me. Because each time I buy something, it's $10, $10, $10. My chiro chiropractor wants me to see a physical therapist. Uh, the, ph the chiropractor is $35 each time I go. Um, and the physical therapist, I'll have a copay, you know, so I don't know how much that would be, maybe 20 bucks. I, I don't know. Maybe more, I, I don't know. So anyway, uh, any assistance you can give me, God bless you. And if, you know, if you think what I'm doing is worthy of praise, that's a way that you can do it. If you're, you know, if, if don't send me money if you have to pay your rent. Don't send me money if you got to feed your family. Don't send me money, you know, whatever. Send me your prayers. If you have money and you want to give it to a worthy cause, um, I, I've, I've nominated myself to be the number one worthy cause in this apartment. <laughs> well, anyway, on that happy note, you take care and God bless. Oh, I don't know where the, uh, i got to pull the camera back up here so I can turn it off. Well, still, God bless you again, and God praise you, and you praise God, and, and we'll just have the best time. Oh, it might be hard to read the title of this book. It's called, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? It's exclusively available on Amazon. Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? It's, you're hardwired for it to work in your brain because that's the way God designed you. You take care and God bless.